New Zealand's economy is dependent on exporting dairy to the rest of the world. And an increasing amount of that is going to Asia, where supply chains are rapidly rearranging themselves. And there's actually tons of fraud. So when somebody gets some milk powder, they don't know whether it's really the good stuff that's labeled New Zealand or whether it's actually a fake. The way we're going about identifying fake New Zealand products overseas is to track the rainfall that falls on New Zealand into the milk and seeing if it's a match. So what we do is we have rainfall collectors all over New Zealand and inside each bottle we'll have collected about a month's worth of rainfall and so there will be different rainstorms in here. What we're doing is working with the hydrogen atoms in the rainfall. So the hydrogen atoms in this bottle contain different ratios of two isotopes. This is the laboratory where we take the rainfall that we've collected all over New Zealand, transfer it into vials, and run them in these machines. And in laboratories like this, we've compared the milk powder to what we find in rainfall. So the hydrogen gets transferred through the landscape, it goes into the grass, it goes into the cows, and then the cows produce the milk. That goes to factories all over New Zealand, which produce milk powder and butter. And we can trace the hydrogen in these products right back to the hydrogen rainfall. So each one of those rainfall events tells us about whether it was warm or cold on a particular day in New Zealand. If we add those up and we make a map out of them, we can put each milk factory in New Zealand on that map. Once we've made these maps, we can match them up with milk that was produced over a season. Now when we've got a milk product overseas that's been labeled as New Zealand, but might not be, we can bring a sample back here, measure the hydrogen isotopes in it, and compare it to the rainfall that fell in New Zealand when it should have been produced. If you bought a product like this or this overseas, you could potentially check and see if it was really from New Zealand.